Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from israautomation.com and today in this video I'll be talking about modern automation testing of modern applications in year 2022. Before we talk about the modern automation testing of modern application in a modern way, let's first of all talk about the legacy application or the application which most of the companies are still developing and using it. Most of the application will fall under this category where they will have a three tier architecture based application where they will have an UI API and database as the backend and these application UI can be deployed in multiple different servers which can be running on a local cloud or in the local server but still as the application matures with new features they become one gigantic monolith application and that's the reason these three tier application will still be called as a monolith based application and this not only creates problem becoming like a one gigantic application but also it becomes harder to add more modern coding practices due to the nature of the application's architecture and it also becomes very harder to deploy the application more frequently since each new feature deployment will require a lot of time and effort along with certain seconds of server downtime which is not something ideal for this modern era but thanks to the new cloud server providers like AWS, Azure or Google Cloud, which will actually take care of the infrastructure part of it, where we don't really have to worry about how the servers are going to be working and how our application uptimes are going to be. Still, this monolith applications are problematic, even though they run on cloud due to the non-scalable architecture. So what is the solution for all these problems that we have been going through with this monolith application? Welcome to microservice architectures. With this architecture style, we'll structure the application as a collection of services that are highly maintainable, loosely coupled, independently deployable, organized around business capabilities owned by small teams. So all the problems that we saw before were all covered up in this microservice architecture. So in a nutshell, microservice architecture are highly scalable and they are high performant. But it's not like a magic silver bullet where you can tell that this is going to resolve all your problem because while the services becomes bigger, it is going to be messy as well. For example, as you can see in Amazon or Netflix, where you will have a lot of different services up and running for every operation that you perform, it becomes messy as well. Again, there are so many solutions to fix this problem and that's not something the topic of today in this video. It's going to be a topic of some other day, but yes, there are many different ways that we can resolve the problem and these are the modern applications and how it has been deployed and developed in the modern era while compared to the legacy application that we talked before but now coming back to the modern application testing like how these microservices based application can be tested the testing pyramid still holds true while some argue it's not as we saw a lot of services in microservice architecture is still valid the services is as you can see in the middle layer is still very very important for us to be tested because the whole application is split into smaller microservices and testing these services and their intercommunication is super important and because these services are running inside docker container deployed in aws azure or any cloud service providers it is important that we test these services and their intercommunication using a much better way and the much better way is nothing but the integration testing because integration testing evaluates an apps component on a broader level than the unit testing and much better than the ui testing and integration testing also ensures that we talk with the underlying components and systems such as database, file systems, network appliances, request response pipelines as much as possible are tested properly while application is being spawned. We can also speed up this whole integration testing process by doing service isolation to test the actual application functionality by removing the needs for the infrastructure and the formal ceremonies. That is also something we can possibly do with a modern application so that you don't really have to worry about having this whole infrastructure in place if you really wanted to test a specific service or a service to service communication. With this whole process, we are going to make the whole testing much, much faster than any testing that we have got and I would say it is 100 times faster than the UI testing. If someone still says that the testing UI is more popular than the integration testing or any other testing practices, then probably it's not true because in UI testing, 
you invest more time and money the more you invest time on the ui testing the more costly the testing will become and as we all know that the ui testing is fragile as well but with these automation testing tools we could write better automation testing code as well it doesn't mean that the ui testing is always bad altogether we could write better coding practices by adding better coding patterns modern libraries and bringing the test code closer to the development code and we can make the ui testing much better than the normal way of writing the ui testing code and the better way to write the code is something which i have already discussed in my course where the automation test code is actually sitting along with the application code where these microservice based applications actually has got the testings like integration test as well as the ui test which can be a bdd or the traditional test along with the test frameworks are all going to be sitting within the same project and they all test actually run inside a docker container so that they can be communicating within each other so that they all can run in a better fashion inside the docker container because the communications will be much much easier at the same time the infrastructure setup for the test as well as the application will be much much easier and at the same time we don't really have the compliance from the developer as well as the tester saying the test actually works in my machine but not in your machine and let's see the action of how the test execution is going to happen in this particular test infrastructure where you can see that the tests are actually running inside the docker container where you can see that all the tests can be run on an Selenium grid if you're going to be focusing on the UI testing and if you're going to be testing an application which are going to be running inside a docker container like an ASP.NET Core you can run both the test as in the integration test as well as the UI test where you can test the application in seconds in the integration test and you could run the long running end to end test on the UI to ensure that the whole application process can be tested successfully. The whole application development as well as testing of the application is already available in the Udemy for you to purchase. You can go ahead and learn the whole course from here like advanced automation testing of modern application with csharp.net where I have talked about how you can automate an application using csharp.net with Selenium, XUnit, Dependency Injection, Docker and more. It also covers the integration testing part that I was talking about where we can test the application in the integration level without doing a lot of ceremonies of the infrastructure in place. We could able to just test the particular application's functionality without having all the ceremonies that we always end up having in the UI testing while every time we need to have the whole application up and running whereas on the integration testing we can just focus on the service under test instead of having the whole application under test to be up and running and all these discussions about the modern way of testing the applications are already available on this course so once again thanks for watching this video and hope you have got the idea of what this modern automation testing is and how and where this modern automation testing is leading us to thanks for watching the video meet you in the next one